Remember when your mother used to chase you down to finish the glass of milk, saying it would make you grow taller? Guess what? She was right. Milk is a good source of protein, an essential building block for your body. It will help you build new cells and grow. But now that I've reached my maximum height, my gym shoes have taken my mom's place, and it's my responsibility to increase my protein intake. But what's the reason this time? It turns out that protein helps in building muscle mass. Whatever stage of life you're at, the bottom line is that you require protein. What happens when you don't fulfill this requirement? Come on, let's find out. Number 1. Has your skin become a bit swollen and puffy recently? If you said yes, then this could result from protein deficiency presenting itself as edema. Edema is when extra fluids get trapped in your body's tissues, so your skin swells up and appears puffy. Your arms, feet, ankles, and legs are the most affected. Edema is a classic symptom of kwashiorkor, a disease that occurs in kids with severe protein deficiency. Your blood is made up of two components. One is liquid and the other is solid. The liquid component comprises water, salts, and protein and is known as plasma. The majority of your blood is plasma. Now, albumin is an essential protein of this plasma. It's in charge of maintaining onconic pressure. Onconic pressure is a force that pulls the excess fluid into the blood circulation. Suppose your body's cells were caught in a flood-like situation where excess fluids get deposited in their residential spaces. To drive this fluid out, they need help. Here comes albumin to the rescue. It soaks up the extra fluid, rescues your body's cells, and leaves them happy and functioning. But when you cannot fulfill your body's protein demands, albumin supplies fall short and can no longer perform their functions effectively. As a result, you experience puffiness throughout your skin. So, if you want your disaster management teams to keep working well, supply them with enough gear and equipment, in this case, protein, to help them get the job done. Number 2. Do you constantly feel hungry? You just had a full-fledged meal 15 minutes ago and you're already fixated on the upcoming snack and wondering when you'll have it. This is not the only time you're feeling this way. No matter how much you eat, you're left unsatiated and always want a snack on something. Well, this could be a sign of a protein deficiency. Your body is a much more goal-oriented being than you may think. It has specific nutritional targets to achieve and is unlikely to take a no for an answer. If your body falls short on proteins, it will aim to compensate for them by encouraging you to eat more so that more protein can be extracted from whatever you consume. But don't worry, a protein deficit won't turn you into some aimless overeater because that varies from person to person. Who knows, you may have more control over your urges than you think. Food comprises three essential macronutrients, carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. Of them, protein is the best at keeping you full. Studies have shown that protein induces a sense of fullness in an individual with the help of an appetite-regulating hormone, which signals your body when it's enough. When you do not consume enough protein, you reach out for protein-rich snacks. This is your body's way of carrying out self-correcting mechanisms where you'll be much more attracted to those eatables that can replenish your protein reserves, and your body can stabilize its nutrient balance. Get this, those who consume a protein-rich diet gain less weight than those who do not. I don't know about you guys, but I am definitely going to include more proteins in my diet. After all, who would mind an easy way to avoid weight gain? Number 3. Are you more prone to fractures? We all have that one friend who keeps getting minor fractures every once in a while. You might chalk that up to their so-called bad luck, but it turns out that wasn't the reason. On the contrary, their protein deficiency made them so prone to fractures. Studies have shown that a low-protein diet weakens your bones over time and exposes you to a greater risk of fractures. Your bones are made up of a protein called collagen, which is present in large amounts and is responsible for strengthening your bones. Bones, the foundation element of your skeletal system, are expected to be those sturdy pillars that your body can rely on without much worry, and that will only happen when you feed yourself enough protein. A study conducted on postmenopausal women showed that a higher percentage of protein content in their diets significantly lowered their risk of having hip fractures by almost 70%. Also, animal-based protein studies were seen to have more significant benefits. As for children, a low protein intake can lead to faulty bone development and stunted growth, while in adults, it could cause low mineral density characterized by weak and delicate bones. And guess what? Studies have also shown that if you're willing to increase your bone strength, you must elevate your protein intake. Number 4. Have you noticed that your skin or hair has become dull? 
Is it true that you start your mornings with the dreadful sight of your pillowcase covered in hair strands? Or maybe the bathroom drain is clogged with hair? Well, be it any situation, hair loss often shakes us from deep within. After all, nobody wants their beautiful strands to be lost that way. And the same goes for your skin. No one wants flaky and cracked skin. But if you have recently started experiencing hair loss problems and skin dryness and don't know what's causing it, here's the answer. Studies have shown that a protein deficiency can result in dry skin, premature aging signs, thinning hair, and hair loss. Buy all the fancy creams, moisturizers, and hair masks you want, but nothing goes back to normal until you start having a protein-rich diet. Keratin deficit can be one of the reasons behind these adversities. Keratin is an essential protein that helps form hair, nails, and skin's outermost layer called the epidermis. And yes, brittle nails can be one of the additions to that list. In some severe cases of protein deficiency, a condition called telogen effluvium could also arise, which causes excessive hair loss and thinning. Another state called atopic dermatitis also has the potential to present itself due to protein deficiency. This condition results in a red and itchy rash that appears all over the body, especially your cheeks, arms, and legs. Number five, are you getting sick more often? Lack of protein can lead to a weakened immune system. Uh-oh, looks like you're sick again. That's the third time in the past few months. Why is this happening? Well, protein deficiency can take a severe toll on your immune system. Your body is designed in a way to ward off bad infection-causing microbes. For this purpose, it has an army of its own, constituting a striking unit of antibodies made of protein. These antibodies fight against foreign attackers and save you from getting sick. But what if these antibodies decline in number due to your negligence in fulfilling the body's nutritional demands? Your immune response won't be that strong, and you'll likely fall prey to some disease. Studies have also shown the role of amino acids, smaller protein units, in regulating your immune system. They activate T lymphocytes, B lymphocytes, and killer cells, which are essential to a successful immune response. Besides this, amino acids also activate macrophages in your body, which are known for coordinating the harmful microbial, killing them, and then removing the dead cells from the site of action. Additional research has shown that dietary supplementation of specific amino acids in animals and humans affected by malnutrition and infectious disease enhances the immune status and reduces morbidity and mortality. Studies have supported this fact and reiterated that dietary protein deficiency impairs immune function and makes us more susceptible to infectious diseases. And this doesn't only apply to severe protein deficiencies. Researchers have shown that a minor deficit can also cause a weak immune response. A small study on women who had a marginally low protein diet for nine weeks also reported a weakened immune response. You can find good amounts of protein in foods like lean beef, chicken, salmon, eggs, peanut butter, pasta, and lentils. Try adding more of these items to your diet. What are you waiting for? Time to run to your nearest grocery store, fill your carts with adequate protein supplies, and ensure you do not fall short on this macronutrient. Are you interested in more information about protein supplies? Don't worry, we've got you covered. Check out 24 high protein foods that you should eat regularly, or 11 foods that can give you 100 grams of protein in a day. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both. Have you noticed any signs of protein deficiency recently? Let us know in the comments below.